hello friends in today's video tutorial we are going to discuss that how to create a form to change a password if we are already logged into a particular website then we have to change the login credentials here so i am going to change the password in asp.net using c sharp here i already created a database with name db and the table that is a login table with credentials that is a username and password here i save the username as abc and password as 123 then close the database if the database is open then the connection will not establish now open the visual studio here i already created a login page with the fields username and password so first run the program and check that the login page is correctly working or not enter the credentials username abc and password 123 and then click on the login after that we are redirected to the another page that is default.aspx so our login page is working correctly now after that i am going to add a new web form so go to solution explorer right click on website add add new item and then select web form change your web form name as change password and then click on add Here I already connected a database that is a db.accdb which we are already created. So here I am going to insert a table. Here I insert three number of rows and three number of columns. Insert the fields in first column that is a enter old password. Then enter new password. And the third field is re enter new password. Then insert text box control to enter the value. So text box 1 for old password, text box 2 for new password and text box 3 for re-enter password. After that place a button control, name the button as submit or change password as you want. Again insert a label control and the ID of that label control is label 1. Now go to your login page and here I am going to place a hyperlink control. Whenever I click on that hyperlink we are going to redirect to change password form. So go to hyperlink then properties change the prop text property as forget password click here to change the password then the next property is navigate url here select change password dot aspx form to navigate to that page Whenever we click on that hyperlink, we are redirected to a change password form. Now double click on the submit button or select submit then right click and view code. In the button 1 click event write down the code to change the password. Here we have to first include the namespace that is using system.data and the second namespace is using system.data.oledb because here we are using access database now in the button one click event write down the code as string connect is equal to at the rate double quotation in double quotation we have to provide the address of our database so go to server explorer right click on database name properties and copy the whole string in connection string and paste it into a double quotation
now write down string q1 is equal to in double quotation select star from login where password is equal to the same format that is a single quotation double quotation plus plus double quotation single quotation and here we save the password in text box one dot text that is the old password so write down id of the first password first text box that is a text box one dot text then our second query is string q2 is equal to update login set password is equal to again single quotation double quotation plus plus double quotation and single quotation where password is equal to same single double plus plus double single the first double quotation complete here and then semicolon now we have to set the password which we entered in text box 2 and from the password that is a text box 1 dot text means if the old password is correct then we change or update the password in second text box then again write down using OLEDB connection CON is equal to new OLEDB connection in bracket connect CON dot open again in the next line write down using OLEDB command CMD is equal to new OLEDB command Q1 comma CON in curly bracket write down connection dot open in curly bracket write down OLEDB data reader DR is equal to CMD dot execute reader if DR dot read then again write down in curly bracket using OLEDB connection CON1 is equal to new OLEDB connection in bracket connect in curly bracket write down connection 1 dot open so here we created a two connection object one is a connection 1 and the second one is connection object using OLEDB command CMD1 is equal to new OLEDB command in bracket Q2 comma CON one cmd1 dot cmd1 dot execute non query label1 dot text is equal to in double quotation password has been changed successfully connection1 dot close and connection dot close curly bracket complete else label1 dot text is equal to password is incorrect try again Now go to the login.aspx page and run the program. Enter our previous credentials. We are login successfully here. Now click on forget password. Enter old password that is a 123 then new password. For example abc at the rate 123 then re-enter the new password abc at the rate 123 and submit. So a message is showing that password has been changed successfully. Now again go to login page, login with previous credentials, then it is showing that invalid username and password. Then enter our new password that is abc at the rate 123, then as you can see our password is successfully updated. Now here if I enter a wrong credentials that is old password as abc at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 6 then new password abc again new password abc here we enter the wrong old password then submit then it is showing the error message as password is incorrect try again so if we want to change our password then the old password should be correct so this is a program of change password in asp.net using c sharp